This is Phil, our friendly neighborhood mailman. Hi. Every day at 310 on the dot, she'd come around the corner with a package or a story about people and getting chased by dogs. I love that. I really like being a mailman, but what I really want to be is a writer. It's really just simply a reflection of you. So what, I should just write about being a dumb mailman? You've got the best seats in the house. I mean, what do you see? Use it. <laughs> what the fuck are you looking at? So, it's a novel. It is. You wrote it. I did. Cool. Congratulations. We have to say she's dead or who knows? I mean, people might start looking for her. No, wait. I don't think McGillicuddy's dead. We just have to stay put until it's over and then we can go anywhere we want. Wait, so this whole cult was formed because your grandfather prophesied you'd have a special baby? No, Carl! No! God, you have got to let this go. Ha, 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 You're crossing a serious line and I know you don't want to get fired. Murder? Maybe. You want to know the reality for girls like me? We work a shitty job for a few years until we meet a man and then we drink wine out of a Starbucks cup on the sidelines of Little League games. Oh! And besides, you have an alternative perspective that's very valuable right now. What does that mean? Well, you're gay. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. I'm but you're not, not gay. gay. You know what are you? You're like your sexual thing. I'm not gay, okay? I just think it's not 2010 anymore, and the nature of sex is a shifting landscape. That means gay. <laughs>